Good morning. I'm going to talk about the second item of the essential dharmas of daily practice. The mind is originally free from delusion, but delusions arise in response to sensory conditions. Let us restore the wisdom of our true nature by letting go of delusions. This item tells us that whenever we face a situation where delusions arise in our mind, we should to try we should try to keep our mind alert so that the light of our inborn wisdom shines. I would like to focus on how to restore the wisdom of our true nature and allow the light of our true nature to shine constantly. Let me tell you a story. When I was minister in training in Korea, one day I took a walk with my teacher and I asked, what is the wisdom of our true nature? My teacher said, from now on, walk the ground with your eyes closed. So I walk the ground with my eyes closed. And as I moved forward, step by step, I felt nervous and fear because I could not see anything. A few minutes later, he said, when your mind is deluded, it is like you are walking with your eyes closed. You are in the darkness. You are not sure which direction you should go. Open your eyes. Now, you can see what is in front of you. Nervousness and fear have disappeared. There is no darkness. The wisdom of your true nature is like this. Delusion is the darkness of our mind. Wisdom is the light of our mind. Restoring the wisdom of our true nature is like opening our eyes. The darkness appears when the light is on. Likewise, we cannot see anything in the darkness but we can see everything in the light. The wisdom of our true nature is a light that illuminates the darkness of our mind. When we open our eyes, we can see the world in front of us. Likewise, when we open the eyes of our mind, and restore wisdom of our true nature, we can see the way of life. We can then live our life without suffering and distress. We live with our body and mind. Our body has five senses and there are five sense of object form sound smell taste and touch i would say these are five ways 
through which we can observe our body. Whereas, there is one way to observe our mind through our thoughts. Restoring the wisdom of our true nature means we gain true insight into this. We will then be able to use our body and mind freely without being deluded by form, sound, smell, taste, thoughts, and thought. When we face a challenging situation, we must observe ourselves to see if we lost the light in our mind. We have to do this, this as soon as possible. With just a moment of a pause for this reflection, we would be able to restore the wisdom of our original Buddha nature. Let me share some useful technique for this. Let your breath become relaxed and naturally at ease. Bring your awareness to your breath. Breathing in, you are aware that you are breathing in. Breathing out, you are aware that you are breathing out. And you are aware that your breathing is taking place in a space. You can see the whole process of your breathing, which means your mind is open and the wisdom of your true nature is with you. When you see your breathing taking place in a single space, you are restoring the wisdom of your true nature. Close your eyes. You see the no form. Open your eyes. You see forms. You can see the whole process of forms appearing and disappearing in one space. It means you are restoring the wisdom of your true nature. We can see things as they are. The same is true of sounds, smells, tastes, thoughts, and thoughts. The more we observe, the brighter our mind will become. The brighter our mind is the less darkness there will be. When we continue to observe our life, we realize two facts. First, everything appears and disappears repeatedly in one space where it is completely empty and eternal. This empty space has always been there and present. This is the principle of neither arising nor ceasing. Second, all things that happen in empty space are our own karma. Whatever we have received in this moment, is the result of what we did in the past. And whatever we have done in this moment is what we receive in the future. This is the principle of a cause and effect. Sote San, the founding teacher of Wom Buddhism, said, It is the way that is free from arising and ceasing, and the 
retribution and response of cause and effect. That is our original nature. Through the light of the void and calm, luminous awareness, we can view both realms. There is a realm where there is no discrimination and the realm where there is discrimination regarding great and small, being and non-being, and the distinction between wholesome and unwholesome karmic attribution. When we see the original Buddha nature, we can realize all things are created by my mind alone. Whatever we see, whatever we hear, and whatever we think, are not separated from ourselves. Likewise, what we see in a mirror is reflection and not separated from ourselves. Human beings must realize that all things are not separate from ourselves. Let me tell you Another story, one day, a dog was walking along with the meat in his mouth as happy as a king. He came upon a river on his way home, and as he crossed the bridge over his stream, he stopped to, the, he stopped to look into the calm, clear water, do you know what the dog saw when he looked in the water? He saw a dog looking up at him. This dog looked the same as him and even had a similar piece of meat in his mouth. He thought, I'll try to get that meat too. But as soon as he tried to bite that piece of meat, the meat he had in his mouth fell down into the stream. He saw the other dog looking up at him in the water had lost his piece too. He noticed that his treasure was gone and went back home sadly. Have you ever heard this story? We know it was only his reflection, but the dog thought it was another dog. The dog was deluded and lost his treasure, but do not laugh at the dog. Why? Because this may, be, this may happen to us. If we lose the light of our mind, we can be deluded into thinking that all beings are objects separate from ourselves. The enlightened people who restore the wisdom of true nature, view that all things are just the reflection of the mind. When Sakamuni Buddha meditated under the Bodhi tree, he was aware of 48, 40,000 thoughts in his mind and observed each thought. He saw ever more deeply and clearly into the cycle of suffering. And then he finally awakened. He awakened all compounded dharmas 
like the reflection of the mind and became free from all suffering and distress. The Buddha has the ability to illuminate wisdom that has been dull and to sustain wisdom once it has been attained. This is why we have to restore the wisdom of our true nature and allow the light of our mind to shine constantly. I hope that we all restore the wisdom of our true nature by letting go of illusion. Thank you. Thank you.